Hello friends, this is Barbara from Wigs and Fluff. Now today I have on a new wig. This is the Zoe wig. What do you think? Cute sun sunglasses, cute little pixie hairdo. I'm all ready for summer. Getting ready for summer with this cute little pixie, pixie hairdo. So this is a really short one and this one would be super good for a house wig. <clears throat> Just a little house wig. Look how cute that is. Look how cute that is in the back. Pretty, pretty color. This is creamy blonde. Creamy blonde. I've got a smudge on my mirror. By Renee of Paris. Really, really cute little wig. If somebody comes by the house, this is super easy to pull on your head. You don't have to style it. It goes on super easy and I'll show you that in just a second. But it is just a really, really cute short, short pixie wig. I mean, there's not much to it. Um, the dimensions, the front is three and a half inches. The crown is three and a quarter inches. The nape is two inches in the back. A nice two inches back here that you can see. So this is really a nice little wig. Um, I really like it. It would be great on a beach trip. Wouldn't this be great? It would be the best thing on a beach trip. It would be nice and cool, um, nice and short. You would look good. You'd feel good. You've got this beautiful creamy blonde hair and it, you'll just look gorgeous. It only weighs 1.7 ounces, so it's a light, lightweight wig, and it's, it's available in 20 colors. And right now, Amazon has it for $116.46, which is a really good deal. Now, I'm gonna keep this wig, and I'm going to use it for just that, a beach wig, and a lake wig. I go down to the lake, my lake is that way. I'm gonna go down there, and I'm gonna lay out on the dock and I'm gonna use this beach wig, this lake wig for uh, laying out on the dock. It's just perfect, it's lightweight, it's cool. It is really, really great. Um, it's good for heart-shaped faces and diamond-shaped faces, oval and pear, and even for my little round face. It would be perfectly fine for a little house wig or beach wig something to put on while you're laying out in the sun. Um, pixies are great for summer. I really love pixies. Now I'm gonna take her off and we're gonna take a look. Oops. We're gonna take a look at the inside. Now she does have a little bit of lace. So it's a basic cap construction with the lace in the front to hold everything in place because it's so stitched down and you have the open weave all around. It has the bra type, bra type closures, adjusters on the side, a nice thick velvet strip in the back, and the ear tabs are pretty well hidden. They're pretty well hidden. So I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna show you how easy this thing is to put on. Look how you can see the color. The color is beautiful. This creamy blonde is gorgeous. Now I'm gonna keep this for a lake wig. That's what I'm gonna do with this one. I think this is, this. I just love it. I think it's gonna be great for sitting down there and it'll be fairly cool. There's a little bit of lace in the front as we saw, but overall, <clears throat> I think she'll be great for the lake. Look how easy that is. Just boom, 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 and it's on. <coughs> Sorry, I've been eating muffins again this morning, and my muffins get stuck in my throat sometimes. So, anyways, this is really a cute wig. I think I'm going to enjoy this one. I like it. It's The bangs come down just about perfect for me. I've got it parted on the side here, and I think it looks great that way. There's not a lot of styling that you can do with this wig. I mean, you could do it like that and pull it all to the front if you wish. Um, if you want to part it to this side, I think it might work for you. Um, got a little alfalfa stuff going on up there. So, 
you know, you can try different ways to part it. I kind of like it to this side. I like the way the bangs flow. Um, there's not a lot of hair over your ears. So you're going to have to deal with that. I think that's fine. I don't mind it at all. And I think this is, I just think this is the cutest little house wig ever. Somebody comes over in two seconds. You weren't expecting anybody at the door. You know, I'm, see, I'm telling you, there it is. And then you just put it right back on and you're ready to go. Look at that. You can meet anybody at the door in about two seconds. So great house wig, great lake wig, great beach wig. So we're gonna put this one in the beach bag in a little plastic uh, bag. This is how I take them, just like this, in a plastic bag. And then I take my tag and a clip. I'm gonna borrow this one if I can do this. <laughs> I don't know, it might be stuck. Oh, I got it. Need you some more of these clips. I'll leave them in the description box below again. I've left them down there many times. These swivel clips are really important to have. And then just clip it by the tag in the back and then just put the whole wig right down into this little plastic bag. The whole wig goes in the plastic bag. And then when you get to your hotel or wherever you're going, or if you're in an RV or whatever you're doing, take out the wig still clipped to the tag and hang it up on the rod. This will go over most rods because it, it's flexible. So it'll go over most rods and you can hang the wig there upside down, ready to go at almost any minute. Ready to go at any minute. So this is the Zoe in Creamy Blonde. and a really, really cute, cute wig. And even those with us with little round faces, I think can absolutely wear the Zoe wig, the cute little Zoe wig. I think I just like it over to this side. I think I get rid of most of the alfalfa in the back. I mean, there's nothing to putting this wig on. Really cute. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Now, I want to ask, also talk to you about one other thing before I forget this time. I've been meaning to do this. I have two different kinds of hot air curling irons. There's another one that I'm looking at, and that's the Helen of Troy. But this one here is a flower. This one says flower on it. It's a, yep, F-L-O-W-E-R, flower hot air. And... It is just the kind that you want. This one, I like it because it's got that skinny handle where your hand can grip it really well. See, it's thicker here and it goes down so your hand can really grip it. It's got um, off, low, and high. So it's got two settings and it is absolutely the best little blower ever. There's the plug, pink cord, and... Um, this is the one that I've been using when I've styled my wigs. I've had this one quite some time. Um, I think I got it from Amazon. Um, this one is one I just got. This is the Hot Tools one. This one I like. It's pretty good. It has two speeds, high and low. It has a curl release on it. And um, you can remove the brush and get different size brushes. <coughs> Sorry. And um, so here's the, the plug. It's a bigger plug. And, um, but this one is not as aerodynamically constructed on the handle as this one. You see how the difference is? This one's a little bit bigger and bulkier. Um, if you've got arthritis like me, 
you might have a little bit of trouble with the hot tool one, whereas the flower one, I can hold on to. Uh, this one, the flower one, is not interchangeable. You can't take off the brush and interchange it. It's just what it is, this size. So, which is the perfect size, pretty much the perfect size. So, right now, I kind of go with the flower one. I really like it. I haven't seen the Helen of Troy. I'm not sure about the actual size of the handle. This handle just fits me really well. That's why I like it. With my arthritis that I've got at my age, I need something I can hold on to. And I have trouble gripping something this big. So... Anything that's larger like that is always a little bit of a struggle for my hand. So, anyways, I wanted to go over that with you also today. I've been meaning to get to that. Um, I will order the Helen of Troy one in the next few weeks and see what I think about that one. But those are the three that I'm looking at. They're moderately priced. I think one is 39, one, I think the Helen of Troy might be 31, I'm not sure, but um, the other, the hot ones might be in the 40s, the hot tools one might be $40, but they're not that expensive to have, and they're a great tool if you wear wigs like me every day. You need a hot tool um, thing just to fix the bangs or whatever on your heat-friendly wig, so anyways, that's the story I have for you today on wigs. And I want to talk to you about something else here today, a deeper look at Easter. Here's a deeper look at Easter. Is your vision of Easter clouded? Are you seeing Jesus standing right in front of you? Are you clouded by your emotions? Are your feelings blinding you to the things of Jesus. What might people think if you were to come out and tell them that you're a believer? Can't put your faith in something that you can't see? Don't let your emotions get in the way of seeing Jesus standing right in front of you. Are you blinded by your circumstances? Is, your, is it your finances? Um... You just don't see a need for Jesus. You have a car, a nice car, a nice house, a family, a husband, and everything else, and grandchildren, and you just don't see a need for Jesus. Well, you will. You will. It's coming, and I guarantee it. Are you blinded by unbelief? Why should you believe in Jesus? Why believe in the resurrection? Our unbelief, that is unbelief. And unbelief hinders us from seeing Jesus standing right in front of us. So trust him today. Trust him today and don't let these things hinder your vision of seeing Jesus and seeing him work and do things in the world right in front of you because he is at work right now. And I want to talk to you again a little bit about this... Um, incident with the shooting in Nashville. We need to pray for the families of these children. This is evil. I want to be very clear. This shooting is evil. When you target nine-year-old children, that is evil and demented. There is no excuse absolutely no excuse. So pray for the families. Pray for the families of the adults that were murdered. Pray for the families of the children that were murdered. Um, it's a terrible, horrible situation. A horrible situation. And we're just thankful for the brave policemen that went in and took out this murderous demonistic person who decided to target little children in an elementary school. That is evil. And that's my last word. I'll see you tomorrow.